Okay, uh, let's do our first example, differentiate from first principles. What that means is uh, get a function that tells me what that slope is. So this is a really, really, this is too simple for this because we already know that the slope is 2. We already know our answer because 2 is the, 2 is the end, isn't it? Okay, anyway, so slope. Uh, we're going to call slope lots of different things. We can call it dy dx. We can call it y dash. We can call it f dash x. Uh, there we go, lots of things. But anyway, let's go. Slope equals the limit where h approaches 0 of f all over h. I'm thinking of this as f of x equals 2x minus 1, which means f of x plus h is 2 of x plus h minus 1. So there's f of x plus h, and there's f of x. Hey, there's f of x, and that's f of x plus h. So all we need to do is we need to slot it in. So f of x plus h is just 2. Let's expand that bracket. Oops. And I'm subtracting f of x. Now there's a bracket there, isn't there? So... minus 2x plus 1. What you'll notice is that the 2x and the minus 2 cancel out, the minus 1 and the plus 1 cancels out, and I'm only left with that on the top. So it's 2h on h. Oh my gosh, the h's cancel. Because there's just a 2 left, I don't need to write that. So on the left-hand side, I've got slope equals 2. Hey, we knew that, but that's, that's how the application of the rule works. Let's look at another one where it won't just cancel out to a number, cause a parabola, the slope changes, doesn't it? Uh, whereas with y equals 2x minus 1, it's just a slope of 2 no matter where you look. Okay, uh, slope equals... It gets a bit tedious to write out, but yes, you will write it out every time. In these first ones, I reckon my strategy would be to thinking, well, if that's x squared, then f of x plus h is... Um, you can even use colours. I love colours. So you can see here that f of x plus h, I need that to go there. And I'm subtracting f of x, which is on h. Okay, x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. The x squareds go. So 2xh plus h squared. That's a h. Hey, I've got h's in both of these top two terms, so I'm dividing everything by h. So when I divide the first term by h, the h goes. And when I divide the second term by h, one of them goes. You need to show me you're working in that step there. If you don't show me you're working, you're going to lose a mark. You've got to cancel properly. So it's 2x plus h left. Okay. Um, I'm not dividing by h anymore, so I can set h equal to 0. So it's just 2x plus 0, so I don't need to put it, and I've got slope equals. 
This is called a gradient function, slope, y dash, f dash x, uh, dy dx, all equal 2x. It's a gradient function. This 2x tells me the slope. Uh, I might just draw a parabola, hey? There's y equals x squared, and I have a gradient function, which is y dash, which was this 2x, gradient function, y dash. This says slope equals, so let's go. Here's x equals 1, so the slope where x equals 1 is 2 times 1, which is 2. So at x equals 1, the slope at that point is 2. Uh, Going to get a bit messy. Let's do another one. So let's pick a number 2. The slope where x is 2 is 2 times 2, because I'm setting that x equal to 2 which is 4. Oh my gosh, does it make sense that the further out this way I go, the steeper it gets? So, the slope where x equals 3 is 2 times 3, because I'm setting that x. This is my gradient function. I'm setting x equal to 3. 2 3s are 6. Where x equals 3, the slope is even steeper. Are we happy with that? Oh my gosh, that makes sense. Uh, let's go, x is negative one. The slope where x is negative one is two times negative one, which is negative two. Hey, aren't parabolas symmetrical? Yes, they are. So does it make sense that at one and minus one, the gradients are the same, but they're the negative of each other. So one's two and one's negative two because we've got a steep positive and a steep negative. Clearly this is a sketch, um, but if you did it in the real world, it would be accurate. Okay, that's how it works. We are finding gradient functions and our answer, where is it? That's our answer. That gives us the slope of the function for any value of x. Our gradient function gives us the slope of the original function at any value of x. Excellent. There's more practice for you. Keep going. There's another video as well as heaps and heaps of questions.